uh, we received a 911 call from a couple of rafters that were uh, on the river coming down almost to the cut through and, and they informed our dispatcher that there was a male subject in a kayak slumped over. They tried to make contact with him and, and they couldn't arouse him so we immediately uh, responded down to the river. We got our airboat out. He was in the water when we found him but he was conscious. He was suffering a medical emergency. We went ahead and got him loaded up. We brought him down here to the boat dock at Cedar Creek Bridge. We got him in the ambulance. We got him over to the hospital just getting him checked out precautionary reason. What we like to tell people is always make sure you got your life jacket on. You know, the gentleman today had his life jacket on. Probably is what ended up saving him in the end. First and foremost, make sure you got your safety gear with you. Make sure you got that that safety vest, so that way, if you do get in the river, you're going to float. Obviously, you want to check the river levels. You want to check the forecast. You don't want to be out here uh, with the river up high. So you want to make sure before you get in this river that you, that you check on it. You know, get on the National Weather Service. They'll, they'll let you know what dams are laying out, what the speeds of the river are, what's the height of the river. So that way you can use that as a precaution also. You know, the river's not a place to, to enjoy yourself with uh, uh, any kind of intoxicating beverages because obviously it will, it will cloud your judgment and you, you know water and alcohol doesn't mix so if you're going to come down and join the river come down and enjoy it just be very safe be careful it's a beautiful scenery it's a great ride down uh, and we want people to use it so just be very careful when you're out here